Hi, my name is Sergio. And uh, since I was five, I was placed in foster care because my dad was either abusive or using drugs. And so was my mom. Between the time I was five and 18, I've been in roughly like 20 or more foster homes. I had like trust issues. When you're in multiple foster homes, you learn a lot of things from other foster kids. So it's just, just a bunch of bad habits I used to have. When I was about 15 or 14, I was in the hopes that coming to Sycamores would help me get in a better relationship with my dad. I did go back with my dad. I got reunited with him. I thought he would change from when I was little, but he really hasn't. He just was still verbally abusive mentally, and I just wouldn't have it, so I ran away, basically. During that time, it's, I was just living in an abandoned house. To get money and food, I would knock on people's doors. And if they said no to that, I said, well, can I work for food? Can I work for some money or something like that? Could I do your lawn? Well, I came back to Sycamores in 2021, and I just felt like I needed to change my attitude. I had like a lot of like bad things happen, and so I started slowly changing my attitude. At Sycamores, we have therapy. It's helpful because you get to vent, and everyone needs to vent, so I get to talk to someone personal on a closer level. They just make me feel like I, I'm like loved by someone. It just helps me through my, throughout my day, like someone's like cares about me and just makes me feel better about myself. From that, it teaches me compassion to be more compassionate towards people. Before I came to Sycamores, I was always getting like C's or D's in school, but when I came here, it was a lot more structure. And right now I'm a straight A student. I'm getting an award for student of the month. Wow, Sergio! Well, without Sycamores, in my opinion, I probably would still be either homeless or just in another foster home trying to get through life, not wanting to be in life, basically. And it's just helped me a lot because like, now I want to go to college. I want to, I want to succeed in life. I want to do something better in my life. Hi guys, my name is Heather. I was one of the very first youth um, accepted into the Sycamores Transitional Housing Program. My foster care journey and my introduction to the Sycamores started when I was 13. My dad died from cirrhosis of the liver from alcoholism. He finally got his wish to drink himself to death. Um, and my mom decided pretty quickly she wasn't prepared to be a mother anymore. She actually uh, just surrendered me to the state. She told them that she didn't want me anymore and they could do whatever they wanted with me. So I ended up in the foster care system. But at about 17, I met the Sycamores and they were having focus groups for a brand new transitional housing program that they were opening and they ended up accepting me as one of the very first clients. Between my addiction to crystal meth and homelessness and the high-risk lifestyle that I was leading, without them, I would not be here today. And so no matter how hard life has gotten, the Sycamores has continued to save my life over and over and over again. So one of the things, one of the tangible things that the Sycamores did for us, which I really loved, was they started making us these rocks. Um, and it was so easy for me back in those days to spin out and want to run away. And so that week they gave me my stop rock to remind me to stop and just take a breath. All of that time and energy they spent making those rocks for us, I've carried with me through every house, through two bouts of homelessness, through five different states, 
all of the rocks that they made for me have come with me and they still remind me every day of the things that I need to be reminded of. So one small example of that unconditional love and that care that sets the sycamores apart is in 2003 on Thanksgiving day, they gave us each a framed piece of paper and it was all of the things that they were thankful for, for us. And for me, it was all these little detailed things like my glitter eyeshadow and my bitten nails and my favorite. And this hangs behind, beside my bed and I read it every night because I need to remember that I'm loved is my heart that is so strong when it loves and my way of re relating to others whose shoes I have been in and my desire to live with purpose even when my tears are like rivers on my face. They saw that in me and it's really helping me remember who I am and who I need to be. And that, that's why I read this every night. And this, this is what sets the Sycamores apart from every other program out there.